I gotta bite my tongue because I fuck. I love Toyota. I've had five, if not. Dude, six, you drive a Lexus. Calm down. I yeah, but like, <laughs> the, and I have put more miles on the prior Tundra than I can count. Um, it just it was poorly sprung for the weight, and even more poorly sprung when I put weight in the bed. Yeah, and it compared to like a uh, Ram 1500, which I put the same mileage on and hauled the exact same quad on. Um, it just, it felt under engineered, which yeah, is saying I, mean, I think it's become clear that Toyota's kind of realized they're never really gonna, from a capability perspective, they're never really gonna outshine like the guys who are committed to it. And mm. they've kind of committed, it seems like to me, like Toyota's committed a little bit more to the like lifestyle truck component of of things but honestly that's most buyers you know but that is not, yeah 90 plus percent i mean there was a study a long time ago that it was like 98 percent of jeep wrangler buyers never right. take their vehicle off road so it's just transitioning still accurate over. yeah it's yeah. more accurate now that the you know four door has proliferated so much mm -hmm. um but yeah i love the 300 the thing that i like the most about all of those vehicles is that turbo V6. It's so funny because I have a 200. I got it because of that 5.7 liter V8. And I'm not one of these like, I'll never have a turbo. You know, I don't, I don't believe in any of that stuff. As technology marches on, we should adapt to most of it. But, um, but I love, I got that V8 because I thought it would be reliable, long-term powertrain, good torque, et cetera. I think that turbo V6 has everything that V8 does from like an acceleration and drivability standpoint. Plus it adds like far, far improved fuel economy. Now we'll see if the longevity is the same, but like Toyota is pretty serious about testing those vehicles for long-term. And mm -hmm. I was like really, really surprisingly into that, to that powertrain. There are only maybe <laughs> three engines on the whole market that I feel, turbo engines that I feel actually replace the higher displacement non-turbo engine that it was replacing. Mm -hmm. um, and one of them, Mercedes turbo straight six replacing V8 and, and that Land Cruiser powertrain too. I like, I love how smooth it is. I love how responsive it is. I really like that engine. Well, we had uh, Kurt Williams from Cruiser Outfitters and you know the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum and everything on and, and he just ran the 600 in Baja. So yeah. it's, it's not untested. Like, yeah. That's not a, even remotely a question, you know, yeah. it's, it's just.